Here we have for sale our 2021 on a 71 plate. This is our Citroen Relay 35, which means that this one has got the 3.5 ton gross vehicle weight. It's got the 2.2 litre blue HDI Euro 6 diesel engine with a six speed manual gearbox. The engine in this vehicle is producing 140 PS, which is roughly 140 brake horsepower. It's the X model, which is the spec, uh, built on an L3 chassis. This is a low loader Luton van. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get uh, generally on a uh, Citroen Relay low loader Luton of this age. We'll also have a really close look at the condition of this particular example and the service history, uh, seeing as the vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting here then at the rear of the vehicle, this is the business end of the vehicle of course, uh, and that is the low load of Luton. So what do I mean by low load of Luton? Uh, basically that it's low in the back. So whereas a usual uh, Luton box body would sit on top of the wheel, so you've just got a complete box inside. Uh, this one actually sits slightly lower, so you've got some wheel arches inside, but it just gives you, gives you easier access into the back, so you don't really require a tail lift on the back. If you haven't got a tail lift, that should mean then that you uh, could be able to carry more weight in the back as well. So uh, plenty of benefits to a low loader. Uh, I think it's a, a really nice, uh, yeah, a really nice solution for this type of job. The body then is made by uh, LCB, so Lincoln Commercial Bodies. Uh, they made the body on this one. And as you can see here, hopefully the camera is conveying this accurately, but fantastic condition on the body. Lovely and straight down the side. It's so common to see these sort of GRP sides with gouges or big scrapes and things, especially towards the back. But the aluminium on the corners is all very, very nice. Rear doors as well. As you can see there, there's a nice gloss finish to those rear doors. And again, in really clean and straight condition. Same with the rear bumper. Again, I've seen so many of these which have been reversed into things and they've been bent or pranked, but they look in really good order. The light clusters are all in good condition as well. So if we open up the rear doors, then we can start to have a look inside the rear of the vehicle. When you pull the door around to the side, there is a little catch here. So you can secure that in place against the body if you want to. We'll have a look here inside the back of the van. So a really great size space in the back of here. I put the tape measure out as well, just to give you an idea on size. So as you can probably just about see there, you've got just over a four meter load length in the back. The width in here uh, is just over 2.1 meters and the height is just over 2.5 meters. So plenty of room in the back. Um, if we walk around in here as well, you can also see you have got some storage there up on top of the cab as well. I have noticed that there are a couple of previous repairs to the, uh, to the roof line in there. Uh, and as you can see, some condensation drops and things like that inside as well, which is, I guess, as to be expected. Along the sides then, these nice tie down uh, hooks here, they're on both sides and the wheel arches, which I mentioned as well. So that's the one sort of downside of a low loader Luton is of course that does, um, impede a little bit on your load space as a normal Luton it would be above these so you would just have a flat floor but then of course the floor would be that much higher so uh, as I say I think that is a nice uh, a nice solution just there if we shut the doors then we continue to go around the outside of the vehicle so just a bit of a backstory on this particular uh, vehicle as if you anyone who's familiar with ourselves uh, well no this isn't really the usual sort of thing that uh, I would be doing a walk around video especially this sort of uh, mileage on this particular vehicle but we actually supplied this vehicle brand new to a customer that is on the same road at a, <laughs> on the same road as us uh, here in Bridgend on the industrial estate uh, and they do very high-end sofas uh, and the reason this vehicle has got the mileage that it has is that they build the sofas in a factory just on the road from us here um, and then this vehicle uh, it has been used from new so uh, a bit over uh, yeah a bit over two years two and a half years say um, no, sorry, it's not even that. It, yeah, about two years. Uh, they've been up and down the motorway doing their uh, deliveries of the sofas to different shops that they supply. But I'd say very high end stuff. Uh, and I'd say they have clearly very well looked after it, which is why we don't mind uh, going on and selling this because we know exactly where this van has been and how it's been maintained from brand new. Looking here down the driver's side, then again, lovely and straight and clean. We haven't done any paintwork or anything on this vehicle. This is as it came into us. You can see the tires 
tyres generally all around are looking very nice falcon tyres uh, on this side we'll have a look around the other side in just a second now this fiberglass section here so this is the sort of looping part here which goes over the top of the cab now there are some little hairline cracks and things just down uh, low down here this uh, trim has been uh, has been put on i believe uh, maybe some as i looking at the hairline cracks it looks like that might have been caught at some point in time uh, exactly the same on the other side as well so i don't know whether that's just a, a common thing there where as i say that's been caught maybe on a i don't know a high curb something along those lines um but as i say it sort of neatens it up tidies it up but as i say there are some little hairline marks or hairline cracks should i say just in the fiberglass there it's not certainly taken away from the you know structural rigidity of the vehicle or anything like that but as a just more of a cosmetic thing to point out to you opening up the driver's door then we can start to have a look inside the cab here so looking at the driver's door card that's all looking very nice the step is looking very good it's very very slight bit of wear just here on the floor but say considering its mileage i think that is absolutely exceptional but what is even more exceptional is the condition of this driver's seat how they have done this mileage in this vehicle and kept the driver's seat in this condition i am not entirely sure it's absolutely uh, a credit to them of how they've uh, how they've looked after it. as i say i know this vehicle has had one driver from new it's one uh, chap in the company who this has been his sort of pride and joy he's been on top of the the maintenance and as he's been driving it himself so he's clearly taken great pride in this and i say that is a really nice uh you know just all the plastics here he's clearly really looked after the vehicle have a look inside then you've got the two keys so you've got one um uh, remote flip key and then one non-remote spare and these keys then will be for the Luton body on the back multi-functioning steering wheel so you've got your volume controls here and you can answer and hang up the phone and the mileage which i've alluded to a few times is there 142,638 miles i would say it really does not present like a vehicle that has done that mileage six-speed manual gearbox to go along that 180 uh, 140 brake horsepower engine should i say uh, in the center then the radio so you can see you've got dab radio just there and of course you can connect your phone to this via bluetooth as well you've got to the flip up little clipboard just there which uh, goes back down into place uh, air conditioning absolutely crucial bit of spec of course and you've got a usb point just under there a couple of cup holders as well we've got the service book there which i've uh, brought out of the office to show you because uh, i say that is absolutely remarkable how they have looked after this and how frequently it has been serviced but yeah moving then around to the front of the vehicle as you would expect with this sort of mileage a peppering of uh, stone chips here to the bonnet uh, as a very much consistent with its sort of age and mileage um but looking at the front bumper the plastics here are all looking very very good i say if you're of course with the mileage this looks incredible value for money and if you're after a vehicle maybe for your business if you're just starting out or maybe you want to add to the fleet which is on a you know it looks very new of course being on a 71 plate the practicality that this offers i just think this offers incredible value looking down the passenger side of the vehicle tiny little mark just there again just a little stone chip just on the very front edge of the wing but again look at the wing mirror it's all in lovely order say falcon tires all around by the looks of it yeah falcon tires all around so they've as they clearly haven't cut corners there opening up the passenger door then having a look at the door card inside here same with the step the floor it's all in lovely order it's probably very infrequently been used these passenger seats i would have thought but yes the service but i wanted to show you this because i say this is very very nice to see so here we go so at the very start of its life twelve thousand miles it had its first service next one then at twenty thousand miles and then look at this all of these services and bear in mind all of these again this is from a, a citroen and peugeot specialist which are located literally a few hundred yards up the road from us uh, and i know this company has always liked to use uh, that uh, business of course specializing in this mark of vehicle but you can see here 32,000 48,000 66,000 78,000 89 105 118 127 filling the service book so there's literally not another page in the service book to put more stamps in so they filled that service book they then ha had to get a duplicate service book to then mark down the next service then at 139,000 so absolutely remarkable service history all as they stamped in the service book and completing the service book uh, which uh, is a is just so so nice to see 
Up on top of here then you've got the uh, little extra glove box down there and of course the normal glove box down below with the original uh, wallet in and then the fold down little work tray in the centre there, a couple of little cup holders and again a little sort of clipboard in the centre as well but lovely condition inside the cab. As I mentioned on this side, very much the same sort of thing. You can see where they've just caught the fiberglass there on the edge. And I say this bit of trim here, uh, just of course to tidy things up just lower down on the bottom. But generally speaking, in absolutely fantastic condition for its age and mileage. So just to summarise, it is this is actually registered October 2021. I don't believe they actually took delivery of it uh, until a little bit later than that. I think it was pre-registered for a few months. Um, but October 2021, uh, yeah, 21, on a 71 plate Citroen Relay 35. It's the X model, which I mentioned, which is the spec. So 35, 3.5 tons gross vehicle weight. Built on an L3 chassis with the uh, LCB, uh, the Lincoln commercial bodies, low loader, Luton on the back. As you can see, we've gone through the measurements as well. So you've got that nice four meter load length there and two and a half meters in height as well, all in the back. Air conditioning, DAB radio, uh, Bluetooth phone prep. So you've got all the basics there in the front. Phenomenal service history, it must be said, uh, in how this has been maintained. And as I say, I think this offers exceptional value for money, especially looking at the condition of it. If that had done 40 odd thousand miles, not 140 odd thousand miles, I, I think that would absolutely be, absolutely be uh, plausible looking at the condition of it now if you'd like to see the full advert if you haven't seen it already please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk this is where you'll find the photography the price and the description of the vehicle we will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed there the bottom left hand side of the sign we can take cars or vans in part exchange we can offer finance at very competitive rates and we can also offer nationwide delivery as well thank you very much for watching